Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do a little bit of a get ready with me. And I just bought um, the L'Oreal Infallible P Pro Glow. And I know I have like naturally oily skin. I know I say it all the time. I try to keep it like a matte face. But I was wondering, um, I saw this on another uh, channel and I didn't really like think about it. I had bought the um, Infallible Total Cover and then I saw on um, someone's channel that mixing the two was like amazing. That it gave you a little bit of a glow and a lot of coverage. And I was like, hmm, I had bought this one and then I got this one yesterday. So I'm like, let's try it a little bit. Like do a little mixture on the hand. I apologize for my hair. It looks super, super crazy right now because I just washed it and my hair is naturally curly so it automatically goes, <sniffs> scrunches up. Um, but I got a, I got a massive haircut, like massively as you can already tell. Um, it's not like a pixie cut or anything, but it's pretty darn close and I love it, but I have to straighten my hair. So I'm going to do that after I put on my makeup and you'll see it at the end of the video. So today's just a regular, just like chill, get ready with me for my eyeshadow. I have a lot of BH cosmetic cosmetics products. Um, just really two. I have the Missy Lynn palette and then the Wild Child palette. And I may or may not use the Ulta um, Miss Fabulous 12 eyeshadow palette by Miss Jen Fabulous. She's another YouTuber um, here on YouTube and um, she did this in collaboration with Ulta. Um, I don't know. I may use I, I may use this one just like to use some of the transition shades that are in here. They're really really pretty but I may just stick to these two palettes because it's really quick simple and easy but I don't know. I may mix it up a little bit. I may go for something, you know, neutral on the eyes, a little bit of a brown, um, maybe add in a little bit like a deep purple in the outer corners. I don't know. I'm just kind of like looking and getting inspiration. But um, if you want to get ready with me this morning, it is like five o'clock in the morning. It's Friday. I'm super excited that it's Friday and we have a three day weekend because we don't have to work on Monday for President's Day. But follow along with me and let's get ready. All right, guys, to get started, I'm going to prime my eyes, and I'm using Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer, and I believe this is in the shade Sand. Um, I've been going back to priming my eyes with concealer recently. I've been kind of laying off the primer. I'm trying to find one that's a little bit better, so in the meantime, concealer will do the job just the exact same way as a primer would. And I'm just blending that out with a fluffy brush. To set my concealer, I'm using Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. And I just grabbed a uh, brush from Morphe to set that all in. From the Miss Fabulous palette, I'm just taking one shade from that palette in the shade Tan. And I'm just using this as my transition shade. The rest of the shades I'm going to use on my eyes are going to come from the BH Cosmetics palette. All right, I'm going to go in with Missy Lynn palette from BH Cosmetics and the shade that I'm grabbing here, I'm going to lay this over right on top of my transition shade and this is a very light brown. It almost has like an orangey undertone to it and as you can see here, it just really helps to bring some life to the eyes and brighten up the eyes, make you look more awake in my opinion. The next palette I'm going to pick up is Wild Child from BH Cosmetics and I'm grabbing a very light, almost like a champagne type shade. And these are baked eyeshadows so they go on very nice and light and they're very um, shimmery. They're not sparkly, it doesn't have sparkles in it, but it, it, there's a nice shimmer to it as you can see. And even though I'm putting this all over the lid, I'm mainly focusing this on the inner corner of my eye. I'm constantly going back and brightening in that inner corner. Again, it's really early in the morning, so if you are exhausted and you need 
uh, a way to make yourself look more awake. Use a very nice, light, shimmery color um, or shade in the innermost part corner of your eye. And on the outer corner, I'm going to be mixing two shades. The first shade that I'm taking is a darker brown shade in that palette just to deepen the outer corner. And then what you're gonna see me do in just a second is take a very nice purple shade right there in the center. I was kind of deciding between the blue and the purple, but I went with the purple just to bring in some color. And I did not put a lot. I'm using a natural hair brush, so I'm not going to be spreading around a lot of product, but just enough to deepen that corner. I just completely cut out the um, hassle that I went through with my gel liner. I was going through some issues. Uh, it was just not working out this morning. So I just totally skipped through that and I just grabbed a makeup wipe to wipe away the um, fallout underneath my eyes from the eyeshadow. And I'm just kind of fixing my liner there. And just pick up any mascara that is your favorite. Right now I'm using Maybelline's Colossal Curl, I believe it's called. It's in the yellow tube. Um, but again, pick up your favorite foundation, whether it's a drugstore brand, high-end brand, whatever floats your boat, honey. So that's the one you're going to use. And I put two coats of these. Now on to the face. Again, I am embracing the glow. I'm loving the glow right now. So I'm using Becca's Backlight filter primer and I'm absolutely loving this and it really just gives a beautiful nice natural subtle glow and hydration to the face and over top of that um, of the hydrating primer I'm using a mattifying primer that is also from Becca Cosmetics but I'm only focusing this matte uh, pore filling primer in my t-zone so the forehead underneath the eyes bridge of the nose, chin, things like that. So I'm gonna be using the Dynamic Duo for my face, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, and the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover. And I'm going to admit to you right here, as I'm looking through the footage, the lighting is completely not um, picking up the color the way it should um, on my face. As you can see, um, my ring light is washing me out completely, but it's not completely and totally the light's fault. I realized about halfway through here, you can kind of see my expression. I'm constantly looking back and forth between my camera and my mirror. And this shade, even though I mix the two, they're really, really light. So even as I'm blending it out and you can see me just trying to work in this foundation, but you can see here that it is a, a tad a bit lighter than what I expected. So. I'm gonna go in with my concealer, try to fix it. I was gonna completely cut this part out, but I want you to see the struggle, I really do. So sometimes this happens and we have to try to work with it. So I'm gonna use my uh, Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just try to make this work. And I, I know it looks like a hot mess right now, but I'm going to use some bronzer, I'm gonna try using some powder and bring in warmth back into the face. So. Let's see. You'll see what I mean. But uh, when I saw this, it, I was completely, completely freaked out because I had no clue what to do at the moment, but you'll see how I work through it. So for my face powder, I'm using Milani's Powder Foundation, and this is what I was talking about where I'm trying to bring back that warmth. You can see it starting to come back, and then the shade that I used was Natural Tan. And I'm just going to work on my bottom lash line, going in with Wet n Wild's Black Eyeliner, and the same shades that I used in my transition shade, uh, my... Uh, outer corner shade. I'm sorry, I had to think for a moment. The shade that I use in my outer corner, I'm just using a mixture of those and blending it out on my lower lash line. That's really all I'm doing. It's same shades on the lid. I'm just pretty much using that, you know, my bottom lash line. And I go through about three different brushes. One um, 
to define, one to blend, and then one for my inner corner highlight. And again, just take any mascara that you absolutely love and use that on your bottom lashes. So again, trying to bring back the warm fix, my mistake of not choosing the right shade, and I'm using Benefit's Hula Bronzer. And it really does seem to be working. I'm bringing some warmth back into my face and balancing everything out. So for my blush, I'm using L'Oreal's uh, True Match blush, and it's really, really pretty. It's a cool tone shade in the shade Rosy Outlook. And it really does just bring a nice, um, subtle, rosy pink look to your cheeks. And then for my highlight on the apples of my cheeks, I'm using Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. And then after that, I've been mixing in two different highlights. And the highlight that I use on the higher points of my cheekbones it comes from the Wild and Radiant Palette by BH Cosmetics. And I just put that on the higher points. And then on the apples of my cheeks, Champagne Pop. And then I'll go back in with Champagne Pop for some little extra highlighting. Alright, the face is all done. I just have to do the lips. But I'm going to fast forward and do my hair. And then we'll get the lips done. <laughs> See you in a bit. Okay guys, this is the finished look right here. It took me a little bit because I had to do my hair. But this is my brand new hair, you guys. I decided to go a whole lot shorter. One side is longer than the other, and I like to tuck this behind my this side behind my ear, and I absolutely love this haircut. So, yeah, it's something different. It's completely like chopped off in the back. I have nothing like no hair on my neck at all whatsoever. This is the shortest haircut I have ever ever done, like ever. So this is the finished look. Um, I you know did something simple some wing liner I mean obviously I, I love doing wing liner um, so far the foundation mixed with it like mixed together is amazing like um, I know I naturally have oily skin so we'll see how it wears throughout the day but I am super excited because I'm gonna start like getting getting the glowy look because you know it's starting to, it's rapidly starting to get warmer we're still having our days here in Florida where it's like cold and hot in the same day like right now when I leave in just a few minutes it's like 40 something degrees and then I guarantee you by noon or even like one o'clock it's gonna be almost 80 which it completely like doubles um it's like how do you dress for that I, I like wear a sweater in the morning and what am I supposed to like wear for the end of the day I don't know anyway but um I'm starting to feel like the more glowy look and especially um, for uh, when I get married I really want that nice sun-kissed glowy look for pictures and I do plan on doing my own makeup on myself that day so I've been trying different foundations, blushes, um, lip, uh, liquid lips and everything because I really want a very beautiful subtle look but I'm trying all of these different um, products to see what works and I've always been told you have to try your products ahead of time wear it throughout the day see how it wears and all that good stuff so just so you guys know I mixed in L'Oreal L'Oreal's infallible pro glow which is a uh, like hydrating it's for normal to dry skin and I I have oily skin you would say like combination um, and it does have SPF in it, so it does, you know, does have some oil. And then I mixed it in with L'Oreal Infallible's Total Cover Foundation. Now, the only thing is that this foundation, I bought it a little bit lighter than my skin color, and it was totally by accident. I did the color match to the neck, and then when I actually put it, um, and I know now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, mm, that is a little bit lighter. So that was my bad. I should have gotten like a shade darker, but it worked out because this is a 
a little bit darker, almost, you know, almost the shade it needs to be. So when I mix them together, it creates kind of like my perfect shade, which I am totally loving right now. So this gives you the glow and hydration while this gives you the coverage that you need. And obviously you can see that right now because you guys have seen me without my makeup on and I still have acne scarring and stuff, all that stuff. So I'm going to see how this wears throughout the day. I'm so excited. In case you're wondering uh, what I'm wearing on my lips, I didn't really, I didn't film it at all. I completely forgot because I did my hair and I'm looking at the time. I have to put gas in the car, so um, I have to leave a little bit earlier. But um, basically, like I threw on my lips and I was like, oh, I forgot to film that. So I'm wearing Milani's Liquid Lip in the shade Loved, and it's a very, very beautiful shade. I absolutely love this. I've been wearing it. Um, I wore it, I think, like a couple times, and totally, totally love it. In my last video, you guys saw that I um, used Milani's Liquid Lip in the, this one's the shade Covet, and this was a very beautiful dark brown, while this one is still like a little bit of a like pinky shade. I really love it. I like more like a mauve, and I, it works very well with my skin tone. I think like the bright pinks. I've tried bright pinks on me, like really nice nudie pink lips, and they look okay. The only thing is that it looks so light for my skin tone. I think maybe I have to work with some and just kind of like, I think I need to experiment and find like other shades in that same like category. So that's basically it. And um, I don't want to keep babbling on and on because I do have to go. So um, this is the look. I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you, as always, to everyone who's been subscribing and who's been joining this family right here. I'm really excited to see our family grow and grow. And we get to reach so many people. Like The internet is an amazing place because you get to reach so many people. And I love that we can just come together and just, you know, have a good time and talk about hair and beauty and all that stuff. So, um, I'm, like I said, I'm going to stop babbling on and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.